Hi everyone. Welcome to Mac's Art Place. I'm Mac and today I have that 12 by 12 canvas that I soaked like Susan King to remove the awful painting that's on it and then I put a thing of gesso on top. And I'm going to use that today to make some browns silver, copper, uh, things like that to try and make uh, like stones would be. And then I purposely want to do one of those stone things. So I'll take you down and show you my colors. I don't know if I'll use all of these, but I have them available. I have the Amsterdam white that's one part flow paint two parts flow trawl. I have Arteza's Pearl Space Gray with Deco Art Pouring Medium, and that's two to one. Uh, I have this supposed to be Interference Blue, but it isn't, so I'm just gonna use it for the white. I have Copper, which is Deco Art's Copper, two parts flow trawl, one part paint. And I have Black Pearl from Deco Art that's mixed two parts flow trough, one part paint with a little water added into it. And I have this silver, which is Deco Art's Extreme Sheen Sterling Sterling Silver. And I have my Sergeant's Black mixed with flow trough, a little bit of water. And I told you about the copper. Here I have a taupe that I mixed up with black, white, and brown. And this brown is Deco Arts Brown Iron Oxide. This brown is Deco Arts Dark Chocolate. Also mixed with flow trough and water. And the consistency of my paints, they're not extremely thick today. Uh, that one doesn't even leave a mound. But this is more like the consistency. You see it pours off like that. And I'll be right back. I gotta put my light on. That's better, there's my light. And the one that I did yesterday that's dry, and I have, I probably could make rocks out of that too, but I don't know what to do with that yet. I have these three 12 by 12 that I poured with those nine puddles, and they're kind of sitting here getting really dry. I may just uh, resin them and get into resin again, and I'll probably have to do that on Friday because tomorrow I have to go to Prescott. So here's all my colors. Now, do I want to do puddles or do I want to do a cup pour? I don't know what I want to do. I think I will do puddles. And then I'll stretch. Um, yep, I think I'll like that. I kind of like this puddle pouring. And um, I like the outcome of it. Although some of it did, I'm not going to do nine, that's for sure. Um, I'll probably only do maybe five. Like this and let it run together. So, I could try a cup with the, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to try a cup pour. Um, haven't done one of them in a while, and that's why I'm going to try it. So, we're going to put a little bit of white on the bottom. And... I'll put some of this brown and a little bit of 
black and some copper. And this pearly black. This is kind of thick. I've added some water to it. I want to stick mostly to the uh, browns. And if I get enough copper in there, it can almost be like rocks that you would find in Sedona. Uh oh, somebody is there. I think I will do a flip cup. And this is the gray. And the silver. I don't know how silver and copper go together, but we're going to find out. And more of my taupe. And some more of this white. And some of this brown. Because I want most of it like a brownish. To me, rocks are kind of like brown. That has a lump in it. I forgot to put my gloves on. Some of this white. And a little more gray. That way I'll get different shades of gray with the white there. And this black. It's, uh, already I forget what it is. And a little more silver. And I just want a little copper. Yeah, that's it. Just a little. Probably should have done the puddles. I'm interested in those puddles. They're really neat. You can kind of, I can tell I'm going to have to pick out that uh, lump. That's what it is. It's a lump and I'm going to have to pick that out. I can tell. And then this one here and if I add some white to that, that'll also lighten that up. And then a little bit of black and gray. And I'm almost out of my browns, which is good. Trying to hold that lump in there. Yeah, almost fell in. A little bit more silver. And just a little bit of copper. Everything I have is paint on it. Even my shoes. So I'm going to move, I think I have enough paint in the cup. Um, I think I'm going to, if I need paint to have it slide around over, I'm going to use the black because the black is going to be my shadow around the stones anyway. So we're moving that away so you can see except for the black. There you go. So, as you can see, I have about three quarters of a cup of paint on here. And I really like the way this 
came out uh, with the, uh, I didn't put any oil in anything, with the um, removing that painting that I didn't like. It was a terrible painting. It had pimples in it. I don't know why they weren't air bubbles, but they were pimples and the paint wasn't smooth. It was, it was really awful. And the whole thing came out. I know you can see a little bit of dark purple under there, but it's gonna get covered anyway. And that's great, because I do not like, to, I have thrown a couple of canvases away and I do not like that. So this way I'll save my canvases. Well, um, I think I'll put a hole in this cup. Two holes. And then we're going to go this way. Or maybe I'll slide it around for a little while. So you can tell I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Well, it is mostly chocolate, which is what I wanted. Because stones are brown here, they're not blue. And we'll give it a torch. I wonder what would happen if I would put a little bit of oil in the puddle. I just have to remember that there's oil on there when I go to do a top part. I'm going to try it just to see what happens. It's kind of dull over there, so this is linseed oil. I did four drops of linseed oil. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. There, so now it's swirled around. I still got to find that lump. And I don't see much copper yet. And there's really lots of dark brown in the cup. So I'll move, well, I think I will. I'll put a little ring of black around so it can slide. I hope some of that copper comes out. That's underneath. If it doesn't, I'll pour some more on it. So we're going to go this way and come back and that way and come back, that way and come back. And I don't wanna lose that. So I'm going to pour some off of that side and let it go around the corner and come down, back down this way. And we'll come this way. And I don't know where it's dripping other than on me. So, knowing that you want this for stones, I do want to, I have copper up there. So I want to add copper down here, but I got to get this blob out of here. Okay, the blob is gone. There's another blob. There's a little something I don't want in it. Off, I say, off. Okay, any more blobs? Yeah. That's the paint started to get hard in those containers. And I couldn't find it as I was mixing water in it. 
going on. Okay, that's off. Uh, I don't see any more, but I do want a little more copper in this because our red rocks in Sedona have copper in them. So I'm going to pour that on top and I'm going to stretch it. I know you can't see that, but I'm already loaded with paint. So you'll see it when I turn it the other way. And I think I'm going to have to add some more brown to it. And I have plenty of brown on the table here. So we're going to, boy, it's messy with gloves. So we're going to take some of this brown and I'm going to add it to it. So stretching, we'll get the copper in there. And I'll check my corners. And there's a corner there. And that one's filled in, that one, and this one. I'm going to tilt it a little more the other way to get some of that copper down. I'm glad there's not too much white because uh, although there's little bits of white in stones, um, mostly they're brown and blackish and gray. And I don't want to lose that copper that's floating down there. So we're going to have to stop that because copper has to be even, even Steven. So, you know, we do say so a lot. I think I'm going to mess with this a little bit because I am going to do rocks and I don't know how the rocks will turn out, my circles for rocks. But I like the coloring. I think the coloring is just great for rocks. Don't even know where I'm going to put them. I certainly have to wash my hands before I even touch that clicker. Okay, got most of it off. I think that's a good color for rocks. I don't have as much gray in there as I'd like, but there'll be a lot of dark when I do the outside edges of the uh, my size of rocks where I put them. So I think that's going to be okay. I'll take it down and have a look see first I got to wipe the paint off my torch and give it a torch I don't know where the oil went but I don't see it but I do see another lump so we're gonna get the lump out right here There. One lump, two lumps. Any more lumps? I don't see any more lumps. Look from the 
the side. Sometimes you can see better from the side. Well, I don't, don't see any more lumps. Okay, we'll take you down and have a look-see. I did figure out what my problem was with the clicker. I had to turn the clicker on. Duh. So, here we go. I think this is going to make nice rocks. I see a lot of people doing blue rocks. Not a lot. A couple. They've done blue rocks. But we don't have blue rocks out here. We have brown, black, and gray. So... And in Sedona, they have copper. So there it is. I hope you've enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And you certainly have a happy rest of the week because I don't think I can get back to you guys until the weekend. Depends on whether they telemedicine tomorrow or I have to drive 60 miles one way. So we'll see. Love you guys. Bye.